Today's lesson is 1.4. Today we'll be talking about the greatest common factor. Our essential question, how can you find the greatest common factor of two whole numbers? So yesterday we did least common multiples. Today we are doing the greatest common factor. So a common factor is a number that is a factor of two or more numbers. The numbers 16 and 20 have 1, 2, and 4 as common factors. So just like with common multiples, they listed out um, when we did the list form. Only this time, instead of listing what they multiply into, we're listing what they're broken up into, like the factor trees that we did. So factors of 16, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. So in common, they have 1, 2, and 4. And if I'm looking for the greatest common factor, it would be the 4. The greatest common factor, or GCF, is the greatest factor that two or more numbers have in common. The greatest common factor of 16 and 20 is 4. So what I mean by that is, you know, 4 times 4 makes 16, so that's a factor of 4. 8 times 2 is 16, so that's a factor of 4. 16, or 16, sorry. 16 times 1 also makes 16. And then if I'm looking at 20, I've got 20 times 1 equals 20. 10 times 2 equals 20. 4 times 5 equals 20. Right, let's unlock the problem. Jim is cutting two strips of wood to make picture frames. The wood strips measure 12 inches and 18 inches. He wants to cut the strips into equal lengths that are as long as possible. Into what length should he cut the wood? So in order to do this, we need to find the greatest common factor, or GCF, of 12 and 18. So first we need to list the factors of 12. So we have 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. I didn't just magically come up with those numbers. I know that 4 times 3 is 12. I know that 12 times 1 is 12. And I know that 2 times 6 is 12. So that's why those are my factors. When I'm looking at 18, it's 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. So then I'm just going to circle the ones they have in common. They both have 1. They both have 2. They both have 3. They both have 6. So the biggest number that they have in common, or the greatest common factor, is 6. Another way is to use prime factorization. So write the prime factorization of each number. So 12 equals 2 times 2 times 3. And 18 equals 2 times 3 times 3. So this takes us back to our little factor trees when we're breaking it apart, right? 2 and 6, this is the end. And I have 3 and 2. So that's why I got 2 right there. 2 and 3. Okay, so it just takes you back to the factor trees. I'm not going to do 18, but it's the same exact way. So to place the prime factors in the numbers in the appropriate parts in the Venn diagram. So we have 2, and they also have in common another 2, and 3, and they have another 3. So these are the common prime factors, which is 2 and 3. And 2 times 3 is 6, therefore the greatest common factor is 6. So Jim should cut the wood into 6-inch lengths. Distributive property. So multiplying a sum by a number that is the same as multiplying each add-in by the number and then adding the products. So for example, if I have 5 times and then I, do, I have the 8 plus 6 inside, it's the same thing as having 5 times 8, 5 times 6, and then adding those two together because we're saying 5 times 8, 5 times 6. So they just broke it apart, 5 times 8 here, 5 times 6 here, and then we add them together. So you can use the distributive property to express the sum of two whole numbers as a product if the numbers have a common factor. So use the greatest common factor and the distributive property to express 36 plus 25 as a product. So find the greatest common factor of 36 and 27. The greatest com the, the greatest common factor is 9, 
and I know that, so it says write each number as a product of the greatest common factor and another factor. So for 36, if I do 9 times 4, and for 27, it's 9 times 3, right? So now if I use the distributive property to write 36 plus 27 as a product, I've got 9 times 4 plus 3. So you can see here's my 4 and my 3. And then I'm going to check my answer. 36 plus 27 is 63. And then I have 9 times, and remember it was 4 plus 3, and 9 times 7 equals 63. So I'm getting the same answer, right? So 36 plus 27 is 9 times 4 plus 3. Explain two ways to find the greatest common factor of 36 and 27. Well, first of all, you can list the factors in each number and circle the greatest common factor. Another way is to write the prime factorization of each number and find the product of the common factors. So using the Venn diagram, explain how the figure at the right shows that 36 plus 27 equals 9 times 4 plus 3. Well, the model shows an array with 36 by 27, which equals 63 squares. The array has 9 rows divided into 2 parts, and one part has 4 columns, and the other part has 3 columns. So the model shows nine rows with four columns plus three columns, or nine times, and then in parentheses, four plus three squares. Okay, we're gonna do one more before I let you work on your own or with a partner. We're gonna do the factors of 12 and 20. So I'm gonna do the list way in this one. So we have the factors of 12, which is one, two, three, four, six, and 12. Again, the way the f I got the factors are I'm looking at what it takes to make 12. So 12 times 1, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. So looking at the factors of 20, I'm going to get 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. As I'm looking, you know, they both have 1 in common, they both have 2 in common, they both have 4 in common. And that's it. So the greatest common factor on this one is going to be 4. So the rest of the problems, I'm wanting you to work with a partner. If you want to do them on your own, that's fine. When you're done, we're going to do the same thing that we did yesterday. I'm going to be on the carpet and available. Um, good luck.